Hi, this is Matt from Envision Community, and on today's video, I wanted to take you through a few tips and tricks of the Admin CP. Now, more experienced admins may already know these features, but if you're just starting out, you might find these handy. And the first thing is the dashboard, which offers you an overview of your suite. Now, these areas can be configured simply by dragging and dropping and moving them to where you wish. You can also add new widgets just by going to the Add button. And what you choose may depend on what your community is focused around. So if, you, so if you're running an e-commerce site, then commerce may be more suitable for you. But if you are running um, an image-centric site, then gallery may be better for you. Keep an eye on disk space used images and so on. And as mentioned before, they can all be rearranged. You can really set this up as per your own preferences to give you a good little snapshot as soon as you log in of what's going on in your, on your community. The security conscious may wish to check for failed admins. So you can see at a glance what's going on. Now the global search bar here is probably the number one thing I reach for whenever I'm administrating our own community or working on a client site. It's a really, really handy way of finding not only members, but also nodes, or in this case, blog, clubs, and also settings. So as you can see here, I search my, my own name and it's come up. That's a real time saver. The other way of searching, of course, is going through the members list and searching there. But just using the global search bar is a nice, easy way of finding the member you wish to edit. And also, if you're anything like me, you've probably seen a setting on your travels. And Envision Community is very configurable and there are a substantial amount of settings to tweak. So you may come back and think, I, I want to change a setting. I can't remember where it is, but I know it was about posts. So you tap in the post, and here you get a long list of all the matches, whether it be in forums, blogs, downloads, or even in the settings area. And when you hit the match, it's highlighted, which is useful. And it can also be in a group setting. And it will show you here that it's a per group setting. So hitting edit on any group will show you the setting which will be highlighted as is, the, as is the case here. So that's a really great way of finding settings that you wish to configure without having to go through screen by screen and finding the correct page. Next up is a very simple feature, but one that we make use of quite often at IPS as we all have different roles within the company. It's the humble reorder menu. And the, the good thing about the reorder menu is, is that whatever you put as first in the menu will be your landing page. So if you work tickets more than anything else, you can put tickets there. So as soon as you log in, you get straight to your ticket page. And that's a quick way of cutting down the friction between moving through your work screens. You can have what you use more often right at the top. So again, if you do a lot of theming, you may wish to put that up higher. If you don't really deal with members, you can move that down and you can really customize the menu as you see fit. And it also has this handy little tab to collapse the information bar. So if you're working on a tablet or a smaller screen, you get more retail space. But of course it comes up on hover and we find that a really handy way of configuring the workspace to be your own. Next up, let's say you're working on forums and you have a change of policy and you decide that the minimum, minimum content to see several forums has to be five approved posts. Now, if you wanted to do this on several forums without the feature I'm about to show you, you would need to do this manually by hitting that click and save, going back, picking the next forum, editing, clicking save, and quite quickly that gets quite tiresome. But Vision Community has this cool little feature which appears on most settings called Copy Setting Value. And you can copy that to any nodes just by selecting them here. And that really is a really, really quick way of copying that one setting to multiple forums without having to manually click backwards and forwards between the different screens. That's a real, that's a real time saver. We use that quite a lot. And the last feature I want to show you it does save some time if you're looking to set up new forums quickly. And that's simply to use the copy feature and this will copy everything from the forum that you chose to copy from, including permissions, uh, settings. 
So it's a really handy way. If you set up one forum as you like it with the permissions and settings, you can just copy it and all that would be carried across for you without having you to do it manually, which can be a real time saver. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a few little tips and tricks that you can make use of and hopefully save some time when you're working in the ACP.